Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid and behind me is the 2001 BMW X5 and it's the E53 and I'm going to change the gear oil on the, uh, the, the differential, the front and the rear differential. So let's get started. We need to get this metal plate off. It protects the, the front differential and in order to get that off, we have to get the splash plate off. These are tens here. Back here, and then the rest of them are eights. And there we go. There are six 16 millimeter bolts holding this, uh, this skid plate on, and there are nuts on the top of them, and you've got to hold them with a 16 millimeter wrench. So I've already got my wrench in position back here. So I'm gonna use my impact to get it free. Okay, so I've got the wrench positioned in here. I'm just kind of gonna hold it. Flipped off. Wrench on. And this one's a little, this one should be a little easier. This is right here. Now the plate's gonna follow me when I take this one off. All right, so you need a 14 millimeter hex head socket in order to get this drain plug, these drain plugs off. Now, whenever you're doing transfer cases or differentials, you want to get the, the, the fill plug loose first, because if you can't get the fill plug loose after you already drain it from the drain plug, then you're screwed. You can't put new oil in it. So always try to get that drain plug loose first. And you might need penetrating fluid in some cases, but looks like I got that loose pretty easily. And now I can probably just get it with my fingers. I'm gonna move my, my uh, drain pan below it just in case some of the oil spills out, which it didn't. So now we're gonna crack the drain since we know the fill plug's loose. And it was nice and easy to do so. California, man, no rust here. You might not be so fortunate. In, a, in your case, spray it with a PB blaster or your favorite penetrating fluid. Make sure you get your drain pan positioned underneath. Make sure that you've just driven the car. You want hot fluid because hot fluid will flow faster. Since it is hot, I'm going to do this quickly and get out of the way quickly. Because I don't really like hot fluid. I just want to point something out. The, there's a washer that's actually kind of stuck on right here. The, uh, the one above, uh, on the fill plug actually came off when I was uh, just wiping the area earlier. This one's stuck on. I can tell that it's stuck on. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, you know, if, if they do say to change these every time, but we've never changed the fluid and so I'm just going to leave it. And by the way, uh, BMW does say that this is a lifetime fill, uh, lifetime fluid, but, uh, you know, basically most enthusiasts say, you know, change it. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the, what the change specifications are. I, I believe it's something like 60,000 miles. Some people are, you know, go less than that. It's really, you know, kind of up to you. We're at about a hundred thousand miles. So we're changing it and these were not very tight so or these were not on there very tight so i'm not really gonna i'm not gonna go too tight here so that was that's about it you can see i've got this uh this funnel with a tube on it this is uh what you use to fill differentials and transmissions and this uh this vehicle takes i believe it's saf-xo I believe that's what it's called. What that actually is, is um, 75 weight, 90 uh, full synthetic. So any 70 weight, 90 full synthetic will do. And I'm gonna basically fill the transmission this, or the, uh, <laughs> the differential this way. And you just wanna fill it until the fluid spills out. And make sure you have your, uh, your drain pan still positioned under it. There we go. Took almost a full bottle a full uh full court
And so, yeah, you just let it, uh, make sure, by the way, you have your car jacked up level. We've, I've jacked up the car, um, I've jacked up all four tires here, and I, I made sure that it's level. You want the, that's, that's how you know, that's how you fill um, the, uh, the, tra the differential properly. You, you make sure that the vehicle is level, and you make sure that uh, the fluid basically just, you know, just spills out of the hole. And then uh, you just put the drain plug back in. If I can just get my hand in there. Not too tight. That's it. This is the drain on the rear and this is the fill. So once again, make sure we can get the fill loose, which we can. And as you see, we just get a little bit. It's, uh, it's filled to the point of, uh, of draining. And I'll just get the, the drain loose. And you would think I would have more experience with that by now. This fluid actually looks pretty good. So that's good. You know, this, this is a 100,000 mile vehicle. And also you should keep in mind this vehicle sat in a driveway for five years as well. So the, the oil definitely had time to oxidize and everything. But it's still not too bad. I'm still glad I'm changing it though. So here's what the plug looks like. It's got a little, little dirt. It might be magnetic to catch uh, the filings that come off of the gears over time. Uh, these drain plugs usually are. So you want to clean that off. I think it definitely is magnetic. Yeah. So we're down to a, a couple of drops at this point. I think that's pretty good. So we're down to a couple of drops at this point. So that's good. Good enough. Okay, so we're gonna start filling it with a full bottle. It's at kind of an awkward angle. So I can't quite squeeze in the, the oil from the empty bottle. So I'm just gonna try to squeeze what I can from a full one. Hopefully it'll be enough. So realistically, we might need to rig up a little bit of a, a, little bit of a MacGyver solution because my funnel with the, uh, with the little tube on the, bottom, on the end of it is not quite long enough to reach in and, and have the funnel be in a high situation. As we can see, we've kind of got it positioned up here, right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a hose to, uh, to extend this a little, a little ways. I'm not sure I have one big enough though, but we'll see what we got. All right, so you can see that we've, I've, I've got some uh, spare 3 8 inch uh, just hose and I've got it run all the way back here to the tire well and I'm gonna just shove the end of my bottle in there and fill it that way. I'm just gonna be looking for when it spills out. As you can see, we've now got it full. I needed to, we needed to run and get another bottle and I used maybe about 200 milliliters from it. And uh, now, it's, uh, now it's so full that it's draining out and I'll put the drain plug back in and uh, finish it up. All done.